Hi guys, it's Roy from Velilos 3D here again with another Blender video. And today we're going to revisit the low poly pirate theme from our previous videos with a low poly pirate ship. So without much more ado, let's get modeling. So it would appear that today is save the default cube day because I'm going to use the default cube for a change. So let's go into front orthographic mode, tab into edit mode, select everything with A, and I'm going to scale with the S button on the X axis using the X button and bring it out to about there. I think that should be enough. Now this is going to be a symmetrical model, so I'm going to press Control R and put an edge loop down the middle there. I'm going to switch to face mode, select the back face, press X and select vertices to delete the back of that. And then I'm going to go into my modifier tab, add modifier mirror, switch off the X axis, turn on the Y axis and enable clipping. Right. So we have our cube of the right size. I'm going to give it a quick material. I've already got my palette material loaded up. So I'm just going to select that and add it and then switch to viewport shading mode. I'm just going to go to UV editing, reduce that down a little bit there. And I'm going to turn the screencast keys on and off just to get them working again in this mode. And if I select everything, press U and R to reset the UVs and then with the mouse hovered over the UV window, A, S and a zero. I'm going to bring that to a nice dark brown sort of color around here. And that'll be the color of our, our boat. Okay, so now we need to make it boat shaped. So let's add a bit of geometry. So I'm going to add three vertical loops with control R and scrolling up. And then I'm going to add a horizontal loop across there. And that'll give us the geometry that we need to uh, create the shape. So let's select all of these edges down the bottom and G and Y and bring them in there. So that's brought them in close. Um, I also need to bring in this one, G, Y. I should have done it at the same time, but I didn't just bring that in there. And then I can select that top one and from front orthographic G, X, bring it forward to about there and then select the bottom one from the front orthographic gx bring it back there and so we've got a little bit of a curve on the prow of the boat there and that gives us the shape of that so now let's bring this one gy back in about there just a little bit and we'll select the bottom one because i want to bring that up gz to about there and let's have a look let's into face mode select this fade face and gy and bring that out a little bit so we've now got a general shape of our ship and it's not looking too bad but it is very clunky and jagged looking what we need to do is we need to add a subdivision modifier so we go to our modifier tab click add modifier subdivision surface and we're going to ramp that up to two and there it's given us a bit more geometry and it's smoothed out the shape and the shape of the hole is quite nice but it's not flat on the top and we need it flat on the top and flat on the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into edge mode and we edge mode with two. Oops. And we're going to alt click this edge. Alt click this edge. And this edge and then round this edge. And then the, just these two pieces on the corners. And if we go into our end menu, and go to uh, view, no, sorry, transform. We'll find a, uh, a little option called mean crease. And we just bump that all the way up. And now we have sharp edges all the right way around. And it's a lovely shape for a boat. Now we're not done with this shape yet. Anyone that's ever seen a pirate ship will know that the deck isn't flat and it actually has um, the front of it sticking up slightly and at the back where they've got the cabins and the the wheelhouse that's slightly higher so we're going to do that but before we do that i want to sort the keel out so let's go back into now we stay in object mode i'm going to apply the subdivision we don't need that anymore it's done its job and let's go back into edit mode and what i want to do is from with edge mode on i want to alt click these lines here because we don't need them we go X and I, and that makes that nice and smooth. So we now switch into face mode with three. I'm going to select this face here, and I'm going to control and click to here. 
and then I'm going to control and click to along here and then I'm going to control and click to maybe there and I'm going to press P and what P does is that separates it to, into another object and there we go we have another object there and what I want to do with that object is I want to add a modifier and I want to add a solidifier modifier and we're going to turn on even thickness and we're just going to increase the size let's see uh, there we go let's bring it up nice and nice and big and then what we want to do is just press G and Z and bring it down a little bit so it's overlapping so now we have a kill on our model and I'm going to apply that solidify and I'm going to go back into there and switch my orientation to normal select the face on top and go to my move widget and I'm just going to move that out because that comes out quite proud like so because I'm going to have a little fence around there as well so I'm going to bring that quite proud up there like so so we now have the main hull shape and a nice keel on there let's have a look oh let's have a look at this back piece we're going to do the same here and bring that out like so just to give it a bit of shape that's right let's go back into our main model press one on the numpad to go into front orthographic and into edit mode right so what i want to do is i need to cut a piece out of this and the reason i want to cut a piece out everybody's seen a pirate film and you'll see the bow of the ship is slightly higher at one end and at the and the stern of the ship you usually look at the cabin and the wheelhouse above so it's slightly higher at that so, at that end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a piece out here and fill it back in to accommodate that geometry so let's go into x-ray mode with alt and z and let's select i think that should be enough yes i think that should be enough and press x and okay so now we need to fill this in and this is pretty easy all i need to do is press 2 to go into edge mode and click and alt click and i've got that in normal again for some reason let's go to global and we're gonna e and y and go all the way back like so and then i'm gonna do the same on here e and y all the way back e and y all the way back and that if we press a and m and by distance that should now connect everything up i'm going to clear that mean crease again off of that because it's not needed anymore bring that off we used our crease for these subdivision and we're not using the subdivision anymore now this back piece is usually a little bit higher than this front piece so i'm going to go in there i'm going to select these faces here and press e to extrude upwards just a touch about there i'd say and it gives it a little bit more height to the rear right so now what i want to do is i want to add a kind of handrail around the edge so i'm going to select this end piece and control and click the end piece here and i'm going to come out of x-ray mode because i don't need that i'm going to press i to inset i'm going to bring that in and i've already got it chosen but if you press b while you're uh, uh, making an insert it toggles between board borders and no borders and we want it without the border so if you've got it like that press b and we just want it just like that and then what i can do is press three make sure i'm face and alt left click that edge and we just wanted to press e right click to set in place and g z just bring it up just a touch say about that far i would say and then if I select one, two, three, one, two, S, X, and bring that out. So it's about the same di distance out. We have the railings around our boat. And again, we have the keel there. Let's have a look, see, that should be about right. So we have the main bulk of our boat. Now, obviously having it in one color, I'm gonna shade smooth this now. And I'm gonna turn on auto, auto smooth. Obviously having it one colour it looks a little bit plain. So let, let's have a look at the different colours. Press tab to go into edit mode. And I'm going to select this face up here. And control click this face up here. Because I'm going to move that. And I'm going to move that to probably one of these browns up here. Maybe a little bit too pinky that one. Let's a little bit more grey. Yeah, I'd say that was right. And just gives a, a sharper definition around around where the edges are. It makes it stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to do the same along the top of the uh, the fence there. I'm going to click the top of the fence and then control plus. And I'm going to... 
I've accidentally got that selected, so I don't need that selected. And I think I've got everything. I'm just going to move that. I'm going to give that a more yellowy sort of colour, like a trim around the edge. Oh, let's uh, redo that. Make sure we haven't got anything else selected. And we're going to move that to that colour. And it gives it a bit of colour. A bit of, you can see, see the difference there. And I'm going to do the same with the keel. And now I'm going to select everything. I'm going to make the keel a bit lighter, just like that. Bring it over about there. And it just defines the edges and you've got your shape. Looks really nice. What I want to do on here as well, on the back of this. Oops. Go back in here. I'm going to add an edge loop. I'm going to bring it across to about there. Go back into face mode, select all of these faces all the way down. Oops. Control and select all the way down. And I'm going to move them with the others to give it an outline on the back there like that. And I think that looks rather nifty like that. I think that looks pretty good. So we've now got the hull of our boat. And what else do we need? Well, a sailing boat has a mast. So let's create a mast. So we're in object mode now. The cursor is in the center. Let's press Shift and A and create a cylinder. And I only want eight sides to my cylinder. I don't need a lot on that. And I'm going to select nothing as the... No, I'm going to select end gone. I'm going to leave it as an end gone. Okay, so that's way too big. Let's go into uh, edit mode. GZ, bring it up. So it's just through the floor. We might need to go into X-ray mode or wireframe. And yep, that's just through the floor. All right, and I'm going to bring that right down to about there. Select the whole thing. I'm going to press s and press it shift z to exclude the z axis i'm going to, have to scale that right the way in and bring it into about let's put our uh, material on that we haven't got a material on there yet and while we're in object mode let's shade smooth and apply our auto smooth let's go in there we'll press u and r to reset the uvs a s and zero to scale it right down i'm going to make the base of this a metal it's going to be encased in metal so let's bring that all the way over to one of our dark metals uh, down here and maybe a bit brighter we won't be able to tell that's metal until we go into sh uh, shaded rendered so let's go in there and you can see that it's slightly reflective there okay so let's go back into viewport shading select the top I and bring it in quite a bit and I'm going to move this color over to one of the browns I'm going to have a nice dark brown and then E and extrude and we bring it up quite high to about there well obviously that looks that looks like just a big log so let's scale that in at the top just to give it a bit more shape and I think that looks quite nice um, press control plus oh and look it, it hasn't actually moved right S zero move that there let's move to there and that's the color of our mast now i need to do the same again i'm gonna but i'm gonna shift and select the loop around i'm gonna press shift and d and right click press r y sorry x 90 to turn it around and g z and bring it up and what I want to do is I want to create the cross beam for this. I'm going to GZ, bring it all the way up to about here. And then scale it all the way down. I want it slightly slightly narrower than the actual uh, mast. And there we go, SX. Bring it all the way out. And that's gone the wrong way. So Control Z, SY, and bring it all the way out. I think that should be far enough. I'm going to put two edge loops in here by control r and scrolling up once because what i want to do is select select that no select that edge loop round there select that edge loop round there and i'm going to press 
S and I'm going to exclude the Y with Shift Y. And I'm going to scale that tip down like so. So now what I need to do, just make sure just this edge is a ring is selected, press F, and then the same on the other side. Oops, if I can click it, there it is, F. And there we have our cross beam. I'm going to actually move that in front a little bit like so, because we're going to add a sail onto that. And I think S, Y, just bring it out a little bit more. And I think that looks pretty good. Now we're going to add a crow's nest onto the top of that. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal the geometry from here in face mode. Press Shift and D and G, Z and bring that up. And that's our little crow's nest. That's where the pirates used to sit to spot other ships on the horizon. So we just want to scale that out a little bit to make it look like a basket. And what I'm going to do is select that bottom ring, press F. Press L, and I'm going to separate it out by selection. So it's a separate object, because what I want to do is go to the Modifier tab and solidify it slightly. So let's bring it out slightly like so. We can Control A and um, get rid of that. I'm going to go into the um, color palette, and I'm going to move that. I'm going to make that a lot lighter brown sort of color and i think maybe if i put an edge loop in there as well i think that would look quite nice like that mm, s z yep yeah. i think that would look out right there okay so next we need to add a sail and for that i'm going to use a plane so let's press shift a mesh and plane and let's go into edit mode with tab a to select everything rx 90 actually we want that on the y don't we y 90 and then let's bring it up up to about there we want it touching the bar slightly and we can bring it forward a little bit and bring it so it's just disappearing inside there because what I want it to do now is press Control R and select that edge press X and vertices so I've only got half and can you guess what we're going to do next we're going to add a mirror modifier on the Y axis with click it clicking clipping I'm going to select this um, edge here and I'm going to bring it out we don't want it all the way out uh, most just most of the way and in fact, that's a little bit too far. Let's bring it in a little bit further like so. And let's select the bottom edge and bring it down quite a bit like so. Let's see. I think we're going to need to bring it out this way a little bit. Obviously, that's our sail there. We we need it to look a, a bit more realistic. It looks like, look like it's billowing out a bit and sagging a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some geometry. I'm going to press Control R and I'm going to add four loops in there and Control R and add two loops in there. And I'm going to go into face mode with three. And I'm going to go up to my proportional editing and turn that on. Make sure that's on smooth like so. Now, if I select this face here and move it forward, I can move it forward to say about there and then scroll up. And it affects all of it like so and it gives it a nice sort of billowing sort of shape like that okay now what i need to do go into edge mode i want to take this edge and i want to bring it down like so and i just want to bring that back in so that it doesn't affect that corner piece like that and now we got our sagging and billowing sail. And what I want to do is I want to do the same on the edges as well. I just want to bring that in just a little bit. Not a huge amount. And the bottom edge of here that needs to come down as well. And there we have our sail. Let's uh, smooth that. Add our auto smooth. And let's add our materials. We go to the materials and add that. Now, in edit mode, select it and press U, reset, R, A, S, and 0. 
and we want that it's a pirate ship so it's going to have a nice black i'm going to put it in a sort of blacky sort of color there so we've got our black pirate flat pirate sail on there and i think for this video that's going to be most of it i just want to add one more object onto that and that is the post at the front all of these um, ships usually have a post with a pole sticking out and then um, the sails are, are, are attached to it um, you, i think it's called a windless sail that windlass um, that comes across this way um, so i'm going to add that pole in here so what i need to do is create a cube shift a cube seven I just want to press G and X and bring it across and in edit mode scale it right the way down the side SC I'm going to turn proportional editing off with O and SY bring that in about there and then I'm going to bring it up and down so it's touched there and bring it back to about there maybe bring that down bring that face down a bit more and then i'm going to select this edge and i'm going to control b and bevel it and cycle up twice now this needs to be unwrapped properly and we need to assign the material to it like so and then AS0, and we'll put that in a lighter brown there. Looks about right to me. And then what I want to do is I want to press Shift S, cursor to selected, press Shift A, and bring in a cylinder. Obviously, that's way too big. So we're going to scale that right down so it's just inside this piece here. A little bit more and then ry90 is x bring it out and then gx bring it forward this x that should be enough select the end there in face mode and scale that right down so it's pointed And just scale that down a little bit more and then what i want to do is i want to change my pivot point to the 3d cursor and select all of this go to side view gz bring it up just a little bit and then press rotate with the r button and bring it up like so and you see how it's rotated around that angle there and it's pointing out like so and let's give it its color let's a s and zero and bring it into maybe that one there and there we have it we we now have our base pirate ship and that's going to be the end of this video today it's run over 20 minutes by the looks of it and in the next video i'll be adding all the details such as the wheel and doors portholes and cannons etc so i hope you've enjoyed yourself I hope you've learned something. If you have, hit the like, subscribe and ring that notification bell. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you in the next video.